Rocky Hawa Prakata Ya Hausha Rocky Hawa Prakata Ya Hausha Ba Hashem Rakakwadash the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled You Shall Not Raise a False Report. Slander at its finest. Okay. You are witnessing a screenshot from the YouTube platform Deacon Destruction and he's going live and his topic or potential topic will be did this Israelite group sell out? This is an example of raising a false report. This is an example of slander at its finest. Okay, now I have a question for you, Hassan. What was your indication? And indication goes into the origin of what? Indicate. And indicate means what? To point out. So what was made obvious to you that the apostles sold out? However, I may not receive a response since I'm a little nigga. Okay? And... You niggas are all about the law. Let's go to the law. Exodus chapter 23, verse 1. You shall not raise a false report. Hence, did this Israelite group sell out? This is an example of a false report. Put not your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Okay. Let's go to Luke chapter 3 and 12. Then came also publicans to be baptized and said unto him, him referring to John the Baptist, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely. You are breaking the law. You are accusing the apostles or asking the question, did this Israelite group sell out? This is an example of a false accusation. And be content with your wages, right? Let's go to Acts chapter 24 and... 13. This account is going into when Apostle Paul was falsely accused. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. So aside, on February the 9th at 5 p.m., God damn it, you have to prove. You got to stand on business that the apostles have sold out, okay? Because if not, you're breaking the law. Let's go to 2 Timothy. Chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, and we are in this time frame, Perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Sakari, covetous, Sakari, because at the end of the day, they want the apostles stead in this truth. Their hierarchy. Boasters, proud, these niggas are prideful. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents. And Sakari's spiritual parents. Okay, are the apostles of Great Millstone. And when it comes to, right, the fruits of Sakari, okay, your fruits, spiritual grandparents, are the apostles of Great Millstone. Nasty. Unthankful, these niggas are unthankful. 
How do you know? How do you know? How do you know in their actions? Look how they talk about the apostles, excluding Apostle Tahar. Unholy. These niggas are unholy. They lack the Holy Spirit, right? That's the reason why they question, okay, the New Testament. Because remember, Yahweh Shah comes in the volume of the book, right? These niggas ain't nothing but street niggas, okay, that believe in the Old Testament. Verse 3, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, hence, did this Israelite group sell out and continent fierce despisers of those that are good. First Peter 3 and 16, having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, okay, did this Israelite group sell out? They may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Mashiach, and our good conversation is based on the scriptures and the application of the scriptures, right? Let's go to Jeremiah 9 4. Take you heed every one of his neighbor and trust you not in any brother. So, regardless that they teach the chill, they go off on everything else. For every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. Slanders in the Hebrew means what? A definition carrying tales, such as, did this Israelite group sell out, right? Ecclesiasticus 26 and 5. There be three things that my heart fear, and for the fourth I was so afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. So to be falsely accused, such as, did this Israelite group sell out? Okay, it's worse than death. But my man, I have a question for you, okay? Now, we all know that No Jumper, okay, main host, Adam, is a Satanist, okay? Right? He worships Satan, a fucking Edomite. And the only way you are getting on this platform, right, you have to sell out. Okay, you're not getting on no jumper unless you took the bag, nigga, right? So as you can see, Gorilla Hebrew, as well as, okay, Tazariot on no jumper, all right? And this is the main host, Adam, this Edomite, right? So it's evident. We have indicators that you niggas done sold out. Period. So explain this. I haven't seen Apostle Tahara on No Jumper, nor Apostle Gabar, or any other apostle on No Jumper's platform. Lord will you edify Shalom.